Well, hello there, driver's ed students, and welcome to today's lecture. Today, we've got a really important topic to, to discuss. It's a, it's a topic that we have briefly discussed already, but we're going to cover in a little more depth today, and that's, that's uh, move over laws or Scott's law here in Illinois. Um, the overall message here is, is the message that you see on the screen, and that message is give them distance. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about this. In Illinois, this law is oftentimes referred to as Scott's Law, and we're going to talk a little more about why that is in a second. But let's specifically talk about what the law says. What is Scott's Law? And by the way, uh, just so that you know, all 50 states have some version of this law in place, some version of a move-over law. So Scott's Law in Illinois is the move-over law. It's our version of that. And it requires drivers to do two things. Those two things are, number one, slow down. So anytime you see a light that has, or I'm sorry, a vehicle that has its hazard lights on or some type of flashing lights on, the number one thing that you have to do is slow down. And then the number two thing, the second thing is, that if you are able to, you are supposed to change lanes. So you're supposed to move over. That's why it's called the move over law. You're supposed to move over to the other lane. Um, so those two things are supposed to take place. Um, now, if there's a lot of traffic and um, you're not able to move over, then you have to slow down even more. Okay. But number one is slow down. Number two is change lanes safely. If you're not able to change lanes, then you need to slow down even more and scoot as far away from that vehicle with hazard lights on as possible. So why is this law called Scott's Law? Um, the reason it's called Scott's Law, as you can probably guess, is that it's named after someone. And and in 2000, Chicago Fire Department Lieutenant Scott Gillen was struck and killed while assisting at the scene of an accident. Um, sadly, this is not an isolated incident. It, this is not the only first responder in Illinois that's been killed um, in the line of duty assisting someone or just performing the duties of their job, uh, whether it be assisting someone or whether it be you know, pulling someone over um, for an infraction. Uh, this has happened far too many times. Uh, Scott's Law, named after Scott Gillen, this law was enacted in 2002, and originally it was designed, the law was just designed to protect first responders. So it took care of police officers and firefighters and ambulance rescue squad workers, okay? Um, since then, that law has been expanded. There was an expansion of Scott's Law in 2017, and that expansion, I think, was a very good expansion because it takes this law that, that was designed to protect first responders, and it applies it to all of us. So if any of us are stopped on the side of a road, whether it's someone that's an emergency personnel, whether it's an everyday driver like you and me and our car is broken down or we've got a flat tire, or whether it's a roadway worker, this law applies to everybody. So if you are broken down on the side of the road, make sure you turn on those hazard lights because once you do that, Law requires people to slow down and move over, change lanes away from you. Now, um, you know, that doesn't mean every single person is actually going to follow the law, but you are protected by that law. So that does provide you some protection um, and it will it's 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 uh, better than nothing. Right. Um, it's it's up to each of us, all of us when we are drivers in the vehicle to be paying attention and to follow this law to help keep people safe. <clears throat> so Scott's law was expanded to protect the everyday driver like we just talked about. Um, why is this important? Well, more than a thousand traffic related fatalities have occurred in Illinois each of the last two years. Now, now those are total fatalities. That's not just situations like this where someone's pulled over on the side of the road. Um, but these, these roadside crashes 
several of them happen a year. So it's important for us to follow this law to help keep people safe. Uh, these roadside accidents are preventable. When someone stopped on the side of the road, you, these can be prevented. There, you know, there's no reason for these to happen other than someone just not paying attention, not being cautious enough. So you can literally save someone's life by slowing down and changing lanes. Uh, here is a, a quote from a worker that, that spends their days working uh, on roadsides. And he says, most of our work days are spent on the side of the road, assisting motorists, making sure our roadways are clear of debris. And every time a car whips right past me, I'm thinking about my wife and kids. What if I don't make it home to them? One careless driver could change my family's lives and end mine in the blink of an eye. Uh, this is from a tollway help truck worker, someone that, that literally their job is to help people that are stranded on the side of the road. Um, someone that, that you know responds to these 999 calls. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've experienced this myself. I've had a couple of instances over the years where, where I've been on the side of the interstate whether it's my own vehicle that's broken down or someone else's vehicle that's broken down and um, having cars whip past you at 70, 75, 80 miles an hour, it's a scary thing. And um, all it takes is one person not, not paying close enough attention and that's it. It's over. So, you know, we really have to, to do our job. So question is, what should I do if I'm stopped on the side of the road? So I want you to take a second. You know, if you're at home, I want you to just take a second and just, and think about this. You know, if one of your parents are there, um, talk to them about it and see. We're going to cover this in a couple of slides here. Maybe the next slide. I think it might be two slides away, though. We're going to talk about what the recommendation is from the state police. But I want you to just kind of think about it. What should you do if you are a car that is stopped on the side of the road. What's the best way to handle that situation? So go ahead and pause the video and talk about that a little bit and then resume when you're ready. Okay, so here's a, a quote from, from a person that, you know, the Sarah Stephenson um, from Downers Grove. And she said, I was on my way to pick up my little sister from O'Hare when my tire blew out. That's a bad situation, no matter where you are, but but you know, especially if you're on a, a freeway and interstate. So she was on her way to pick up her little sister from O'Hare when her tire blew out, and she had to pull over. My car was shaking as most drivers kept speeding past in the next lane over. I thought for sure someone was going to hit me. Thankfully, I was on the tollway, so I dialed star nine nine nine, and a help truck operator arrived in just a few minutes to make sure I was safe. Um, so, so on these tollways up there, the star nine, nine is, uh, something that you can call and get assistance. Um, that's something you can do around here too, um, is that you can call for assistance. And so down in this part of the state, we don't have star nine, nine that's specific to the tollways up in the Chicagoland area, but you can still call for roadside assistance. There are signs all along the interstate or you can just always call uh, the local county police department and they can help you obtain the help that you need um, if, you're, if you're stuck on the side of the road, if you had a breakdown or something like that. So what should you do if you are stopped on the side of the road? So I, I said, you know, we would answer this in a couple of, of slides and here we are. The Illinois State Police asks that you activate your hazard lights. So put your hazard lights on. Those hazard lights are always marked with a red triangle. There's going to be some kind of button in your car um, somewhere on the dash or on the top of the steering column and you push that button and your hazard lights come on. Uh, if you're on the tollway system, you can call 999 um, or you can call some emergency number we already talked about. You know, you can look up the local county police department or you can always call 911 if you need to and then they'll get you in touch with, with who you need. Um, stay in the vehicle with your seatbelts on. 
wait for an emergency vehicle to arrive on the scene to assist. That's really the safest thing to do. Um, this presentation was sponsored by and, and supported by these various agencies that are on here. Um, and so, you know, the, the reason that they support this is because they want everybody to get home alive. They want all of us to stay safe on the roadway. Uh, so, you know, we talked about how this is a law and there are penalties for breaking this law. So if you fail to comply with this penalty, the fines can be very, or the, with this law, the penalties, the fines can be very steep. Uh, you can have up to a $10,000 fine and two year suspension of driving privileges. And you can even have jail time if you hit a worker or kill a worker or a person on the side of the road. Um, so the penalties for this are very severe because, because the, the, the crime is very severe. Um, you're putting someone's life at risk when you don't follow this law. Uh, hopefully, throughout this presentation, you've realized the importance of following this law, of giving people distance, of moving over, of slowing down. Um, there is a pledge that you can take, and, and that pledge is found at GiveThemDistance.com. I'll have that linked on this assignment. And, you know, lead by example when you're behind the wheel, you know, always be paying attention for this. And when you see a car that has its flashers on or you see a police car that's got someone pulled over, or you see a wrecker, uh, a tow truck that, that is assisting a motorist, follow the law, follow Scott's law, slow your vehicle down, move over. Um, and, you know, like we said, you can go to to give them distance.com and you can fill out this, this pledge form. Here are some notable people that have already taken the pledge. Uh, Bears quarterback, uh, Mitch Turbinski. Um, there's our own secretary of state, Jesse White in the middle. And then a former Chicago Bat Blackhawks player, Bobby Hull. All of them have taken the, the give them distance pledge. I'm uh, gonna show you a real quick video here. Um, so I'll be quiet while this video plays. When someone fails to follow the new voter law, the results can be tragic. If you see any vehicle with flashing lights on the shoulder, slow down, change lanes, and give them distance. Help make our roads safer. Take the Give Them Distance Pledge. That first shot of that video with that trooper getting grazed by, by the car, that's really scary. If that car had been over another six inches or a foot, um, you know, that, that would have ended much differently. Um, and unfortunately, I do have some videos for you to watch that, that did end differently. Um, so, you know, this, this is a serious thing and really does have serious consequences for people. So, uh, there you go. I know we've already talked about this once before, whenever we went through the rules of the road book, talking about Scott's law. Um, uh, but I just wanted to, to revisit this topic because I still, whenever I'm driving around, I see, I see on a regular basis, I see people not following this law, not moving over, not slowing down and, and giving these people, whether it be emergency workers or whether it be just everyday people like you and me, um, other drivers not giving them the distance they need to stay safe. So hope you learned something today. Hope you uh, are taking away from this lecture a, a commitment to follow this law and to help keep your fellow humans safe. So um, just like my favorite professor, Dr. Phillips, used to say, hey, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. We'll see you.